Okay. Good evening, everybody. All right, so this is not tall enough, man. A little bit higher. All right. Um, wow. It's a busy afternoon. I didn't even get to change my jeans. I'm still in jeans. I have no pants. I have, I have pants. I have a tie. I have the whole thing. It's great. I just, I'm just not wearing it. Um, so uh, it was a very busy afternoon getting here. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, I wanted to say uh, thank you to all of you that are here. Also, thank you, thank you to the uh, administration that supports all the things that we do. I want to thank David Enos for you know sort of agreeing to this concert series that we sort of do. It's our second annual one for this particular thing. This all started off um, a few years ago as what I called Jazz Night, and it is sort of like kind of evolved to the point now where we come to the high school and do it, um, and involve the high school jazz band, which is fantastic. Um, but really also kind of all about revolves around Music in Our Schools Month. Uh, we are in March, and March is Nationwide Music in Our Schools Month. We have great music programs here. Um, Mr. Enos does an awesome job uh, at the high school level. Um, I'm working hard at the middle school level. Uh, we have a new person at the elementary school level, hopefully who will stick around next year. Uh, Mrs. Ritchie, she does a fantastic job, and she was here in the past as well, and she's always done an excellent job. Um, also, I'd like to thank um, Mr. Pedro, who went to hand with one of our classes this, this year, um, and uh, has in the past been part of our Before the Bell program. Um, so he's done a lot of work there um, as well. Um, so we're going to start off this evening uh, with our advanced band, and uh, kind of just get things going. Um, I probably forget to say something, but... Um, but we're going to start off with our advanced band. Our first song is called Night Fury. Uh, this is some stuff that we've been working on for the last couple of months. Uh, this gives us a chance to, to, to play it out for the first time. We've got a couple other songs, couple, two songs that we're going to play for you tonight, actually. Um, and we continue to develop these songs. We're working hard on developing them. And we're working, we will get to hear these songs again towards the end of the year. And you'll get to hear the growth, I think, as well, um, as we kind of go through. But our first song uh, is called Night Fury. Thanks. song is called Abandoned Treasure Hunt. Uh, this, is a, this is a challenging one. I've been talking to the, the saxes about how hard this part is. They've got several sixth grade saxes, 
and they're doing an awesome job with this part. I hope that they, that, that comes out because we've been working so hard at getting this right, um, and they're just doing such a good job with it. It really is like, even for me, like it took me a little while to really get this part down on the saxophone, um, so I can help them and really help them learn how to play it. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. It's called Abandoned Treasure. <laughs> Songs. We're going to stand up. Everybody stand up. We're going to pop them. Uh, and then the two of you guys about one, two, three, take it down. One, two, three, take it down. All right, and have the seats. All right, so we're going to shift the stage over uh, for the next group, which is going to be the Lincoln Middle School Jazz Band. Um, so I'm going to have, in a moment, um, Students leave the stage. Stage team's going to help out. We're going to clear that third set of uh, chairs and make sure the pianos and everything are set up as well as the guitars. Um, so let's get ready to do that. Here we go. Jazz band is up next. Uh, we're going to start with a song uh, that's based on a blues. It's called Sea Jam Blues. We got a couple of blues songs kind of coming to you tonight, but this one's called Sea Jam Blues. Um, kind of made fun, famous by Charlie Parker, famous alto saxophone player. For those of you who are jazz aficionados, um, but we're going to kick right into uh, Sea Jam Blues for you. Uh, we've got some um, some group solos and some nice group solo sections, and I'm just kind of buying time for my guitar player. Who's trying to set up? So, <laughs> just gonna do one more minute.
right, this next song sort of has a Latin sort of sound to it. It's called Fiesta del Tigre, which I like to refer to as Party Tiger. Um, but you know, basically a celebration of the tiger. So this is Fiesta del Tigre. about this event, especially for me, is that I've had the experience of teaching, you know, all the high school kids for the most part, as well as all these middle school kids. So even though I don't, like I get to see these middle school students every day, but I don't get to see the high school students all the time. And I love to see how they've grown and how it keeps getting better. I know we were missing a couple of our star uh, players tonight, from the knows, but I think they've got a great show uh, planned for you guys. So um, they're coming up next. So here we go. All right, thank you.
Okay, sorry about the delay, and um, first I'd like to thank everyone for coming, and I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Casale, uh, Tom, for inviting us to play last year. Um, he thought that would be kind of a neat idea, and we did it last year for the first time, and it worked out pretty well. It's a nice chance for our kids to hear the younger kids coming up, and obviously for the younger kids to hear us. This is our uh, jazz ensemble. We, we practice outside of the school day. We practice actually on Sunday nights. It's not part of the school day. It's an extracurricular, actually. So all these students, it is an audition band, um, but usually we take most kids if they can play the level of music, and uh, we'll take extras if we need to. Um, and these kids work real hard outside of the school day, and all but a couple are also part of the concert band, uh, which is part of the school day. Talk a little bit more about that later. You won't see the, uh, the concert band tonight. But we're excited. We're going to play two numbers for you. First one's called Vehicle. Thanks.
Thank you so much. A couple of solos in there. Zach Curry, a freshman. Zach Curry on the top. Sophomore Adrian Chase on bass. And unfortunately, because we're losing, I'm a senior on guitar, Julian Andes. Okay, I can't, I can't see that well, but I'll probably be able to see if you raise your hand. All right, all you guys in middle school, who's going to play in a band in high school? Raise your hand. You better be raising those hands. Don't make me come over there. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't have to believe me, right? Because I'm just an old dude. You can believe these guys, and we've got about 100 kids in the concert band. The best part of their day is music. Give it a try. Give it a try. The worst that can happen is you can say it's not for me. Maybe I don't want to do it. There's a lot worse that can happen if you don't do it. You might end up regretting it later and going, gosh, I wish I had done that. Okay? I get tons of kids coming to me later in life. I had one tonight. There's a parent in the audience tonight who came up to me and said, ah, I really wish I, I kept doing that into high school. I hear that a lot. I never hear, you know what? I really regret playing music in high school. I've never heard it. Give it a try. Give it a try.
Okay, another quick stage change for Mr. Casale to come out and bring the next group on. Thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it. So we're going to move on to the next part of the night. Um, so one of the reasons that I, well, there's a few, like I said, reasons that this whole thing started. So several years ago, we started doing jazz night. And um, in part, I want to do it, you know, for the jazz band and some other students to get an opportunity to play some more because I feel like we just don't get to play enough together as a full band. We're always rehearsing as small groups. We don't always get to play as a full band. We don't necessarily get a lot of performance opportunities. So I wanted to build in a performance opportunity, but also I wanted to take um, sort of a moment. I don't generally play um, at concerts that we do, um, but this was the one I figured, you know, it'd be kind of cool to like share a little bit of what I sort of do when I'm not at school. Um, because most of the time I'm not teaching anybody how to play upright bass. I'm teaching people how to play saxophone and flute and trumpet and clarinet and drums and a number of different things, but like never really the upright bass, strangely enough, which happens to be my main um, instrument. And also when I'm outside of school doing uh, different performances, I get to play with a lot of different musicians, which is a fun thing. And I wanted to kind of share that with some of the students and give them an opportunity, as well as families, to see um, you know, some very, very good players um, who have been doing this professionally for a long time. Um, we have, you know, well, it's all in the program notes. I don't want to get too specific, but we have some excellent players tonight uh, that I get to play with on a regular basis. Um, John McKenna is on tenor saxophone. Give him a round of applause for being here tonight. Uh, John's a faculty member at URI, amongst other places. Uh, great players, get some great albums out as well. Um, we've also got Jim Odgren on alto saxophone. Uh, Jim also has a few albums of his own out, was a Berkeley teacher for many, many, many years. Uh, we will not give the number. <laughs> uh, Josh Kane on trombone. Uh, Josh is a regular staple in the uh, Rhode Island sort of scene of music, doing all kinds of things, whether it's you know, orchestral or jazz or blues. Uh, is it uh, Steve Smith? Steve Smith is a regular gig for him. Um, also, we've got uh, Jim Robitaille in the back on the guitar. Jim teaches at UMass Dartmouth, amongst other places. Several albums of his own. Hopefully, we're going to be recording another album. Uh, we're supposed to be recording an album with a trio. Uh, so, bass, drums, and guitar soon. Um, and also, we've got Jim Nordell on the drums. And uh, Jim, along with John, were on my last recording. Uh, we did some recording not too long ago um, of some original compositions. But tonight we're going to play a couple of jazz tunes, and I want to just kind of feature, I want you guys, uh, you know, for students and for families, um, just a chance to hear uh, these guys play, because I think they're really excellent. Um, and just kind of, you know, uh, you notice what you notice, I guess. Um, you know, listen and notice what you notice. But we're going to play um, a song called Confirmation first by Charlie Parker. Uh, then we're going to play a little bit of How Insensitive by uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim. And then we're going to play a song called Thea, which is a song that I wrote, which I don't usually do either. But I write a lot of songs and this is an opportunity again for me to kind of uh, share a little bit of that. I love composition, I love creating and writing. Um, and so this song Thea I wrote is a Sort of like, well, Thea was the sister of Earth, and the theory is they collided, and that's kind of what made Earth Earth, and Earth actually absorbed Thea, so big bang. 
Um, so the idea behind that song is kind of, it's supposed to be intense and like a big bang. But anyway, um, we're gonna play those three songs and without further ado, we'll get to it.
right, so uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we've got John McKenna on tenor. Jim Ogden on alto saxophone. Josh Kane on trombone. Jim Norville on the drums. And Jim Robitaille on the guitar. Uh, I've been playing up right bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna bring up we're gonna bring up the eighth grade. We're gonna bring uh, these guys back in a few moments to finish out the night because I want to bring the high school band and the middle school band and these guys together for a little culmination thing at the end. But up next, we've got the eighth grade band stage team to the stage. Let's set this thing up and keep this thing going. Thanks, you, everybody. It's a big shift kind of coming up here from the middle school, get kind of used to where our equipment is. And I brought a bunch of equipment, but trying to make sure there's enough equipment is a challenge um, as we kind of get ready to go. Um, so our first song is going to be called Serengeti Dreams, and it kind of evokes images, I hope, of the Serengeti. Um, and um, this is the Lincoln Middle School 8th grade band. Everybody give them a round of applause. I think we're ready. Here we go.
All right, our next song is called In Quest of Uluru, which I've had to practice saying that. I couldn't figure out how to say it for a little while, but I know now. It's Uluru. In Quest of Uluru. So, maybe not, I don't know. Um, we're going to bring up the high school jazz band and middle school jazz band and special guests. And with one more round of applause for the eighth grade of Nice job.
This is the blues. Uh, one of the things that we work on, we work on some improvisation stuff, trying to get people improvising. Uh, you know, you saw a lot of us improvising as uh, musicians earlier this evening. Um, improvisation is a big part of music and one that is often overlooked. Um, and it's a spot where creativity will kind of reigns. You know, the more creative you can be and the more interesting you can be, um, the better when it comes to improv, I think. And um, it's part craft and part creativity. And I think that's one of the most important parts of, of music, obviously, is the creative part uh, of music. And we're trying to share that with everybody. So, without further ado, LMS Blues.
Jackson solo. Chest cuts, why not? We've had harmonica solos, we've had kazoo solos, we've had chicken solos. I just figured I'd bring it to the stage, why not? Having a little fun. Big round of applause for the Lincoln Middle School Jazz Band, Lincoln High School Jazz Band, our special guests. Thank you guys for coming out tonight and supporting all these great students, our music programs. I'd like to thank again Mr. Enos, who uh, does an awesome job. I'm always happy to send my kids up because they do amazing things when they come up here and you know they come back happy and you know music's great and I feel really fortunate that I'm part of a program that again you know brings some greatness out of these kids. They did a great job tonight. Another round of applause for them. Thank you very much. And with that, good night.